This is no ordinary cemetery. Ever since Daniela Habegger took over, her main aim has been to promote biodiversity in the gardens around the graves. The Friedhof is actually einmal a sehr monotone. This was once a very monotone, typical cemetery landscape with closely cropped lawns and neatly planted graves. Now I've tried to balance things, remodeling lawns into natural meadows. New habitats have been created using indigenous shrubs. What looks a bit like stony waste ground is actually a sanctuary for lizards, salamanders and slow worms. And there are hives for bees, tucked out of harm's way. You might think the wild look is easy to maintain, but you'd be wrong. A lot of the gardening is done by hand. We don't use any chemicals, and it's about the same amount of work as with a regular cemetery. This is Lake Volen. It was created when the local electricity company dammed the river to produce hydroelectric power. The Lake Volen Conservation Society, with its small army of pensioner volunteers, has been doing its best to encourage wading birds to make their homes here. For one thing, we have been promoting reeds because they, they, they used to be quite uh, thin. There were many trees in it that caused shadow and so it didn't grow that well. So we have, we have been uh, promoting that by taking out all the woods for, for several years and now it, they have become very thick and, and, uh, and harbour many bird species. This is a stream which used to have concrete banks to make it completely straight. We renaturalized this by removing the concrete and creating a natural bed. The river is much more free now to flow into the lake. It can move more. Last but not least, farmers were encouraged to change their methods to promote biodiversity on their lands in this highly agricultural region. There was a development plan for the countryside which allowed us to give farmers compensation to encourage them to do more to promote nature. They got money for planting hedges and for maintaining them, money for keeping extensive meadows that were no longer fertilized, and there was money also for strips of land which were sown with wildflowers and left like that for a few years to provide a home for animals. For instance, the red-backed shrike, which has now made its home in these hedges. On Fritz Sali's organic farm, there's a pond containing natterjack toads, a protected species. This area of large meadows is intended to restore the ecological balance. We cut the grass here just twice a year. Over the past few years, we've noticed there are more flowers than before in these higher fields. So over the past decade, Volan's huge commitment to promoting flora and fauna has paid off. The WWF has awarded it with the annual Biodiversity Prize, praising it as a role model for other communities to follow. I think they did more than any other community for biodiversity. They have such a broad field of activities. The WWF invited delegates from other communities around Switzerland to visit Volen and see what can be achieved. Hopefully, it'll encourage them to develop their own biodiversity programs. Mm -hmm.